Welcome back to the best of seven sports talk, y'all. I'm Seven Mitchell here with your NBA sports talk. Y'all know how we rocking. Let's get into it. So Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, he back at it, taking more shots at LeBron. Like, he flexing right now. Kareem says, I'm still the all-time leading scorer in the NBA, and I only made one three-point shot. All right, Kareem, dummy. Go ahead and flex while you can because I'm telling you, next year, what you keep riding on is going to be over. When LeBron takes this from you, it's a wrap, son. It's a wrap. So go ahead and flex now, Kareem, all you want. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has had so much to say when it comes to LeBron James, when it comes to some other things. Like, I'm really not a big fan of this guy. And I'm not like some of you new fans or younger fans in the NBA. Like, I'm over 40. So I've watched this guy. I've come up watching this guy play basketball. So I don't have to have a certain level of respect that you guys, I think, probably have for him. Especially when I'm looking at this overall picture. Like, Kareem, nothing, I'm not going to take nothing away from the great figure that he is or that he was. But it wouldn't have been all that without Magic in L.A. He won a championship in Milwaukee, you know what I'm saying? But he wouldn't, it wouldn't have been all that in L.A. without Magic. Let's be clear on that. Magic was the guy, the showstopper in L.A. Kareem did his thing, but Magic was the one. That's number one. And ever since LeBron has been threatened in this NBA scoring lead and title thing, whatever you want to call it, this record, ever since LeBron has been challenging this record, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has found a way to implement himself in a negative way with something to say now. I can't argue with facts. He's right. He only shot one three-point shot. He's the NBA all-time leader. I mean, but of, of course, we're taking that out of, out of context when you talk about how long he played, how many shots he took, and all that come into play. So he talking from a, a, poor, a, a position of efficiency. The sky hook was unstoppable, but just stop it, Kareem. No, matter of fact, keep doing what you do, dummy. Keep doing what you do, dummy. This is, your, this is the last stop. So get it all out now. You've been talking and talking and talking, and you always got something to say. Kareem always got something to say. But it's all good, dummy, because I'm telling you, what you've been holding your hat on, that record is going to be out the window next season. I cannot wait till LeBron James become the NBA all-time leading scorer. I can't. Now, that's not going to say that Kareem is not a legend no more. I'm not going to say nothing like that. But he's been talking big, and we know what he's been holding his hat on. That record, for the for the most part, people didn't think was going to come close to being broken. And now look, and LeBron still might continue to you know play after he break the record, of course. So go ahead, Kareem, get your rocks off. You've been talking so big, but I'm telling you, what you've been hanging your hat on is about to be over, and you know it. That's why you hating so much. You about to be so irrelevant, so irrelevant. I can't wait. Because they don't love you like they love Bill Russell. You know, you're not really a people person, media savvy. You know, the media don't love you like that. They don't love you like you like, like um, Bill Russell. So when LeBron take this from you, you'll still definitely be one of the greats. Activists and all that. But, yeah, people going to look at you different. I, I, I promise you, people are going to look at Kareem different after this record is taken from him. It is what it is, man. But what y'all think about Kareem in these comments? Like I said, it ain't like he's lying. But it's just always the timing of the things that he say that just rub me the wrong way. He a big hater. Kareem is a big hater. But like I said, dummy, keep it going because it's up next season for LBJ. You're going to take that record as a L.A. Laker. I know you mad. I know that. I know that make you mad, Kareem. I know that make you mad, Kareem. I don't want to be disrespectful. I started to call you Lou Alcindor, but I'm, <laughs> I got to talk to the bosses. I don't want to be disrespectful to a legend, but I ain't feeling them like I'm feeling y'all. And I watch them play. I'm old enough to, to, to have an opinion on this guy as far as the one that I have, damn it. And he's a hater. It is what it is. Shout out to the king. So go ahead and do your thing right now, but it's over after next season, my guy.